you're talking about something like taxes here on Farm Show TV, it's always best to get the best advice you can get, and we've got two of the best in the business with us here today. Uh, joining us from MNP are Kim Gerncher and Roxanne Olenek. Now, both of you uh, have senior roles at MNP and uh, are no stranger to giving out the best advice in the field when it comes to it for producers and uh, ranchers. So maybe we can start by, first of all, welcoming you to the show and tell us a little bit about your background uh, at MNP and the kind of services that you provide. Hi, Dave Lee here. So again, yeah, Roxanne, I'm a senior manager specifically on our agriculture team and I work more on the compliance side uh, with the assurance and tax planning piece and just helping clients uh, in communication with their banks and uh, obviously their filing requirements. Uh, and then I work a lot with people just Kim, who can tell us what to do. Yeah, thanks, uh, Tim Gerringer. I work with Farm Management Consulting Group within uh, We are very forward-looking, very planning and strategic work. We do uh, strategies for growth in size or scale uh, with financial planning and strategies for succession, which is a big, big issue. Uh, we really work closely together with our partners on the tax insurance side, tax planning and so on. Whether it comes to growth strategies, succession, et cetera, cash flow profitability, all big parts of what we work on. on now, obviously, this is a busy time in agriculture. Uh, producers are wrapping up if they haven't wrapped up already, thanks to the nice weather we've had. But it's also a very busy time in other ways, too. So when they start thinking about what the end of the season looks like and what their taxes are going to look like, what sort, of, what sort of advice or strategies might you have for producers right now? Yeah, we uh, really focus a lot on regular meetings with our clients, and especially this time of year. Very busy around here because, as we know, busiest time of the year is done on the farm. And so we hold post harvest meetings with all of our clients. Uh, that is our goal. The, the purpose of this meeting is to have a touch base on how did the year turn out? We met expectations on profitability, cash flow. And because all of our practitioners at MNP have such a strong handle on tax year over year over year with all of them, this is a big part of the conversation. So what needs to be done based on how the year turned out, what the plans for next year are starting to look like, and what sort of decisions do we need to make for et cetera, before the end of client's fiscal year so that we're not making decisions that we have these meetings early so we can put strategies in place and leave time for execution. And Kim, I'll ask one follow-up on that is, from your advice and your uh, your experience in the industry, is it really ever too early to be thinking about some of the answers to those questions? No. No, it's, it's, it's never too early. It can be too late, but it's never too early. It's it's better now than, than uh, not procrastinating this sort of Good strategy and good advice as early as possible really helps uh, anybody in agriculture be able to not only wrap up uh, the current year but plan successfully for the next year. Now, one of the things that we are all dealing with, uh, regardless of industry, is the uncertainties around COVID-19 and um, the ramifications that it's having uh, across uh, North America and the world, really. So is there anything from a, from a strategy or a tax planning point of view in agriculture, specifically for producers, uh, that we should be thinking about and watching out for right now? I think uh, a lot of clients have been asking us the questions on the various programs that are available, and there is several of them, and it seems that the goals are constantly changing. So I always recommend, you know, NMP itself has a really great website resources for any of those changes that are happening as they happen. And then obviously the updating government is always updating as well, but that's one of the big programs that uh, are really relevant that I would encourage to look into if they haven't already it would be the SEBA program for farm corporations it would apply for. Um, that's a Canada Emergency Business Account and that's funding. Um, that they just announced that the deadline for that program last week was actually been extended to the end of December and that is um, an interest free loan um, up to $40,000 and they just announced actually an additional $20,000. So something you haven't already chatted about with your um, your financial advisor, your accountant, your 
you know, your bank uh, and then another significant program uh, would be the Canadian Emergency uh, Wage Subsidy as well that we've seen quite a few producers and students that um, be eligible for. And again, that's just what it is. It's a wage subsidy. And again, last week, they also just announced um, that that program has also faced the So again, without diving into all the details, we'll do that today. But if uh, producers are thinking that's something they want to explore that you know, they may not have yet already. It's definitely something bringing up rather than later just well, it's a good point, and I would just follow up with that. You know, tell me a little bit about the service that that you and MMP can provide as as interpreters or guides in those programs as well. A lot of that information can be overwhelming, and as you say, it can change as the time goes on. So that kind of service that that MNP provides to help clients and help farmers actually navigate some of that information. Absolutely. So yeah, if anyone's you know, has those questions and even working with our clients, usually the first step is it really can be a case-by-case -case basis. So I don't want to give a, you know, a blank answer of so-and-so will apply. Because um, there is a big set of criteria, but we do have specialists uh, that actually can focus on that. And the more the circumstances where you make up sure if you apply that sort of thing. Uh, so again, it's case-by-case -case basis, but definitely something that we have been doing and that we are offering uh, to help determining if something is perhaps eligible or if your corporation is eligible. So yeah, it's very important. It's at least worth your while if you haven't already to look into it if it is something. Well, I said at the top of the interview that when you are looking for advice in something like taxes or it can be complicated, we go to the best uh, and we certainly have you here with us now. So uh, let's talk a little bit about if, if you were going to encapsulate some of the best advice that you could pass along to producers right now, what would that be? Uh, I think we kind of touched on it already and we'll just touch on it again is don't wait for the 11th hour, plan ahead and uh, if you haven't already started to think about you know, tax planning and Preparing um, for your year end, um, just conversation with your advisor and to stay on top of it would be one big advice. Anything else? No, that's, that's exactly it. Uh, to be compliant to your advisors because the tax act is far too complicated for an amateur to know. Uh, that's why we have experts. Well, that's excellent and uh, confidence inspiring at the same time. So thank you both very much for your time. Uh, and hopefully that um, all the advice about being early and being strategic about some of the decisions that producers are going to have to make here pretty soon uh, lands well. And, uh, and good luck to everybody as they wrap up harvest. Thanks very much.